The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and this is the Art of Politics. Before we start our regular show, I do want to say something about rail transportation here in the city of Nashua. Now, I was just talking to an individual who was not going to vote for rail, but changed his mind and voted for rail, and because he did this, it was 50-50, in other words, 10 to 10. He is a Republican. He was quoted in the newspaper about how good he did. Yet, when he was sitting here, he said he wasn't going to vote for it. Yet, after looking at everything, he decided to vote for it. Look, Nashua is the economic engine of the state of New Hampshire. We put more money into the state treasury than any city or town in the state of New Hampshire. We really don't need to borrow from the state of New Hampshire to get the money. All we have to do is not send the money to the state and put it in a treasury. Now, I have, and I will introduce you in a moment, an individual who's sitting right next to me. And every time the state of New Hampshire gives his town money, Nashua gives them out of our money 10 to 15 percent. That's right. So every single individual, uh, politicians most of the time, who say they do not want it, then fine. Then every time you get some money from the state of New Hampshire, just remember 10 to 15 percent comes from the state of New Hampshire or just send it back to Nashua. Rail is that important. People do not understand throughout the state of New Hampshire, it's mostly the free staters who think we should have nothing like this. The, uh, the rail will stop in Nashua next to the mall. Our mall, the Pheasant Lane Mall, makes more money in the state of New Hampshire than any other mall. We make money. We know how to do it. People think that rail in the state of New Hampshire is just for Nashua. It's not. It's for everyone. It's for the economy. And by the way, it might come to Nashua, but where it really should go also is to, is to Manchester. You have to understand, people must understand, that every time there's a good airport, let's say like in Manchester, where we have over a mile of a runway, that means enormous jets can land. That means they can go from here to California nonstop if they so desired. Uh, if you go to, for instance, Boston, it's international. But to have an airport like Manchester's airport and not have a rail train coming close to it, that means we would bring a lot of people from Massachusetts to New Hampshire to use the airport. And by the way, after it gets to Manchester, let's take it to Concord. And after that, guess what's going to happen? Companies are going to want to come to the state of New Hampshire because now they can take our children who are living in Massachusetts 
and bring them in on the rail so they can work back in New Hampshire. And guess what? They might stay here in the state of New Hampshire. So, ladies and gentlemen, if the state does not want to give us money for rail, then why doesn't Nashua just turn around and not send our money to the state and we could have rail? So, that's what I have to say on this part of the show. And now let's start the regular, the art of politics. And my good friend over here, losing weight like a son of a gun, yes. <laughs> is Representative Burt from? Goffstown. Say hi to Goffstown. Hello, Goffstown. All right, who do you want to say hello to? Well, my normal, you know, Rachel. I, I always like saying hi to her. All right, no, yep. well, come on. I mean, do you have any police or union people up there who love you? Oh, not too many of the union guys. Uh, there's a few, because I get calls from them, and they let me know what's going on. Yeah, they, I'm <laughs> sure you get calls. Now, last week, you we, oh, we'll t I'll tell you where El Baldacero is in, in a moment. But uh, last week, we were talking about Phyllis and how yes. she is so cheap. You, made, you married your <laughs> wife. Now, for those who missed last week's show, this is really fascinating. You're on your second marriage. Yes. Okay. So you interviewed Phyllis, your first wife, before you married her. Well, my second wife, your yes. Second, I'm sorry, your yeah. second wife. Yeah. And you asked, what were the questions? Well, you know, religion and, you know, Second Amendment, you know, et cetera, those kind of and questions. She was a Catholic that, instead of... Well, what, she is a Catholic. She is a Catholic. Yeah. So, you know, I, she's I'm, religious. I'm Baptist. Yes. Okay. And she's, All right. you know, All right. She okay. believes in God because I want to marry somebody that believes in God. All right. Um, you know, the Second Amendment, make sure that she's okay on that because I'm a huge, huge Second well, Amendment And you've got guns all over the place. Well, not all over, but i got yeah. a few. Yeah, in the ceilings <laughs> and the walls. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and, uh, but then I got talking about, you know, politics to make sure she's a Republican or at least lean she that had way. had to be a Republican. Well, you I, snake. I, I can't imagine. You snake. Uh, you know, there's, you, a, there's a lot of you, nice did, Democrat did, ladies. Oh, give me a break. Listen, listen. But listen, I can't imagine. Listen to me. Can you imagine? You, do you know what love does? Love completely covers everything. But I've talked to conservative guys and Democrat guys that are married to the opposite, and they said it is a strain. That's bull. That's bull. Who is, who is the top Republican and Democrat com, uh, couple in the United States? One, On both sides? I don't know. Yes. One works with the Clintons, and the other one worked with the Bush. Bushes. Oh, you I know, know the that. family. I do? Yes, you do. You know who they are. Who, who? I want you to think about that. Oh. I want you thinking during this, <laughs> I don't who know worked I mean. for the Bush, the lady, and who worked for the man? The man's got a bald head. Uh. No, I'll have to think. All right, okay, you think about that. Now, talking about ball headed, uh, we missing Al Baldassar, who usually sits there, yes. but I have a feeling that he will sit there and you'll be sitting there because we enjoy doing shows together. Yes, yeah. All right, so Al Baldassar was going to try to come on uh, uh, via Skype. Yeah, via Skype, but yeah. I don't it, think we had the time to do it. Yeah, we just couldn't fit it in. Um, you know, and he's on his cell phone, which really doesn't work good for TV. Well, if you if you got a computer, you know, well, that's it. He needs to be at a computer yeah. to do that. You know, well, he the, couldn't you know. Skype anyway. I mean, you know, I mean, you you need. I'm not well, sure. Well, you can. I, I guess you can on your cell phones. Oh, like this. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, just, yes, yes. You just hold it out and. Yes, but he, we would have to pick it up and play it here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I, you know, I. Oh, just, actually, he should call and do that, and I can go like this. Okay. <laughs> we can show it like that. Oh, but on my wife. So you know, the, to finish that story. All right. Is, okay. Is uh, so I talked to her about I live debt free. Politics. Yeah. Well, no, debt free. Okay, debt free. And I'm very cheap, conservative. You know, I'm I'm a very conservative. Matter of fact, I was on the budget committee in Goffstown for three years. Uh, and they threw you out. No, no, I just didn't rerun because it, 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 sadly it's a thankless, thankless, thankless job. You know, politics is a thankless job. You don't get very much praise. You know, most of it is negative, but budget Well, committee, Republicans, it's just a, they don't deserve anything but negative. Well, <laughs> you guys, Republican politicians, not Republican voters. Well the, well, the thing is, is so, so I told my wife, I said, you know, I live debt free. And she goes, well, you always have a car payment. And I said, no. Well, how do you buy a car? I said, you buy a junk car, and then you make yourself payments, and then after two years... You buy a junk car. Well, you know, a two, three thousand dollar car, which is nice for You're a lot a of people. You're a junk car. Well, but then... You shameless, <laughs> rotten person. But then after person. ten years, you have enough money you to buy shameless, new. shameless, 
awful person. So you t she had a, a car payment. Yeah, she had a small car payment, and so we got rid of that, and now we pay cash for our cars. But, you know, but so what happened is doing that, she saw the light. And she goes, wow, instead of paying the bank all this interest, oh, my God, it's in my pocket, and we can go on vacation or fix the houses because why make the bank? Good. Have you gone on vacation? We used to a lot before I became a state rep. No, before she, you, she saw the light. Oh, After yes. She so saw the we light. Went to, we went to Alaska. It, it, she and, got cheap. Well, then she's, so now she's cheap. Ultra conservative. And when and you a, want to walk in and buy a hole for your garden. Oh, uh, she's asking me, do we really need it? And I'm like, honey, we got the money. And yeah, and I don't want so, to keep So that's chicken. where it came from is on the, you know, so I, we were going to go clothes shopping. And uh, so now I'm going to buy her a nice gift. Certificate. Now we <laughs> talked about, we were going to, Dick was going to get a camera. Yes. We were going to go down and do clothes shopping yeah. for her, spend a couple thousand dollars. Okay. Yes. But I knew this wasn't going to happen, and you knew it wasn't going <laughs> to yeah. happen, because when you told her, she said what? She loves the stuff I buy for no, her. No, she doesn't. Well, I believe my wife. But she would rather? Go shop for herself. Yeah, okay. That, that, now, is that a, no, a, let, no, a let me wife let you know, me in, loves her husband, no, so no, she no, no, doesn't no, want to hurt no, no. his Let feelings. me interpret that for you. <laughs> okay. She hates what you buy her. <laughs> you buy the wrong color because it doesn't match something else, and you're an awful person. So you're going to do what? Uh, go get her a nice no, big gift certificate. How big? Uh, probably $300. You oh, <laughs> She, she buys a lot of nice stuff. Look, I'll on, tell you what. If how you, about 500 Would that make fi you? Yes. Okay, $500. You make sure you buy it at a place where she can use it in a couple, you know, over oh, a yes. period of time. Yeah. Because some of these, these awful places, you know, yeah. and they charge you. Some of them do. To, 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 yeah. to buy a gift certificate. Yeah. What? You go into their store. They're getting the money up front and they're charging you. Oh, we yeah. pay for it. Yeah. Or they start charging you a surcharge after nine or ten months, twelve. Yeah, months. well, stick it. Yeah, that's we'll, what I we, said. You know, we're representatives. We can pass yes. a law on that well, one. Well, some states have. They do. Yes. Then, yeah. then oh, and well, you and I are going to work on a law next time if I decide to run. I know you're going to run. And one other thing is, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, we get paid a hundred dollars a year. Everybody yes. knows that. Yeah. A hundred dollars. That's it. And we get fifty cents a mile. Yeah, about, 55 yeah. cents a mile. Well, I think it's 51. All right, 51. It used to be 55, but they brought it down yeah. because we're not worth it. Yes. So, okay, so we, get, we lose four cents. But I get something in the mail that says, you've made so much money going back and forth to Concord, 50 cents a mile. I mean, I can't even... It buys gas, but you can't buy a set of tires for your, no. your vehicle no, over a period of year. Yep. Now they want to tax us. So, yep. okay, they want to tax us on the money we spend. But can we use our vehicles as depreciation? You want to know what the answer is? Did you look at it? No. You want to know why? Why? Because in the state of New Hampshire, we're considered vendors not employees. Well, can you use it as a, can no, you use a you home can't office? Use, no, you cannot use it. So Ugh. you and I are going to get a bill to change the word vendors to whatever. Representatives. Good or elected people. Elected officials. Yeah, elected, elected officials. Yeah. I know this vendor stuff. So representative vendor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> Al Baldessaro is with Donald Trump. Yes. And I talked to his lovely wife today, who answered the phone. I love the way. Uh, this is El Beldasaro's secretary. May I take a message? I mean, give me a break. <laughs> that's how she answered. Oh, that's how she answered. <laughs> I go, yeah, right, secretary, my foot. So uh, he's in Florida. He was going on vacation anyway, and they timed it. That's where Trump was. He will be with Trump, by the way, uh, tomorrow, I think. So you should see Al Baldassaro on television. He wasn't mentioned last night on the debate. I, I know was that. I was a little surprised, too. Yeah. I was a little surprised, yeah. too. I almost sent 
Al a text message. What what happened? Well, I, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> he's been doing a lot of work. Yeah, and uh, our other buddy who used to sit right there also. I mean, Al Belisaro usually sits here, uh, but our other buddy uh, Bill O'Brien, the former Speaker of the House, used to sit here, and we did. Yeah. We, he was my co-host, or a co. We were co-hosts, and he did thirty-plus shows. He's with Cruz. Yes, well, I am with Cruz. I am too. Yo, with Cruz. Constitution. Cruz is the closest <sighs> to the Constitution me a as break. any of them. Oh, all right, all right. Now, Especially over Hillary and Bernie. All right, okay. I want to make it very clear because I want to make an announcement today, ladies and gentlemen. Boo. This is who I'm voting for, Hillary Clinton. But as a Democrat, as a Democrat, I want to endorse a Republican. Are you ready? So this is who I'm voting for. Cruz. I'm endorsing Trump. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a Republican, vote for Trump. So, but I'm voting for, but I endorse as a Democrat, Trump, but I'm voting for. Okay. Well, you do know, according to Trump last night, all the polls are showing him beating Hillary. Yeah, so? Well, I'm just saying. So, so what? You want Hillary to lose so what? No. This is who I'm voting for. Really? Okay. So, this is who I'm voting for, oh, okay. but I'm endorsing Trump as a yes. Democrat. You want to know why? Why? All right. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> 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 there was a Republican who, uh, I guess he was a governor, who is endorsing Trump. And they said, well, you know, why are you endorsing Trump? Is that the governor that the union leader endorsed? I'm not sure. It was. So he said, well, I'm endorsing Trump simply because he will crash the Republican Party. He'll destroy it. And then we'll have to start at the very beginning and make the Republican Party strong again. But I'm voting for Trump. He's going to take the Republican Party right into the pits. Oh, well, maybe I should have gone with Trump then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not established. <laughs> no, no. She, she can't, for one, chances are she's going to be in jail before the primaries. Uh, oh. Are. Am I wrong? No, you, you want to know why you're wrong? Uh, you want to know why you're wrong? Because she has power? No. You want to know why? I'm, ladies and gentlemen, Hillary is not going to be indicted. I'm going to tell you why. In the house where they live, still live, right? Yeah. In uh, New York. There's the mansion. A mansion. Well, so what? I mean, come on. Ooh. They didn't make any money in politics. They only make it when they get out and make speeches. So hold on a second. So here is a former president of the United States who will have Secret Service the rest of their life. And by the only, by the way... Uh, and that's something new. No, well, it's uh, 50 years old. That's not new, new, new. That's no, like no, 50 no. Years Obama old. started that. No, 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 no. Carter it, never no, had no, Secret no. Service. Of course he does. He's always had Secret Service. What the hell's wrong no. with you? Are you out of your I think they had skull. secret service for the skull? first year. No, you no, you no. And now they get it for Not life. true. When I, I, that's what I understood. This, this, well, you, you don't understand. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> he, you know, he's from Gobstown. What do I want? I mean, what, do they, what do they know up there? No, I don't mean that. I yeah, love Gobstown. Yeah, Gobstown voters are going to be down here banging on that door. People. He doesn't like the union people. There we go. <laughs> uh, no, this is how I see it. Here is a former president. Oh, by the way, just to, 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 to clarify something, they always had Secret Service. The one who didn't want it and refused it was Nixon. Oh. Totally. I don't want it. But they always kept someone outside his door, and every time he went someplace, he might have not rode in the Secret Service, but they were behind him and in front of him. Oh. Always. Because that's a, Well, anyway, my point is, here you are in one house, a former president of the United States with Security. Yep. All right. You also had in that same house a Secretary of State, which probably had more security. So here is a house with probably 30 people around it. Now, what they protect is what? What do they protect? Well, they want to make sure they don't get bumped off, which I support. Right. And they also want to protect that they're not hacked. 
They want to protect to make sure that they realize that their cameras can be turned on. Well, that's they also true. I realize that. that they need filters so the computers go completely off. And now you're telling me, now people are turning around and saying she's going to be indicted for what? Because instead of like you said, how their computers are secure, et cetera, et cetera. But Hillary goes to Walmart and buys a track phone so she can get around the oh, laws. Oh, excuse me. She buys a track phone. Does she just buys a, a you regular phone. You are a lying no, she buys, sack I don't know what kind of cell phone it was. Of, of, of helium. <laughs> I'm just giving you track phone a You are a balloon filled plug. with helium. But she buys a... <laughs> yeah. The Secretary it, of State runs out to Walmart with, with well, 20 buys, secret services. She buy. buys her own server that is it, not it, secure. It, 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 the it, FBI is it, already it, saying it, it's it, not secure. Excuse me. She excuse needs to be indicted. You and I would be in jail. Are you trying to tell me that the secret service that's guarding them would not guard those computers well, they would guard to make sure that they're not being lugged out the front door, but they, they no, aren't computer no, people. No, you're wrong. They're also, each probably every week that they're away, there are people walking through there to see if the places are set up with bombs or, or they're but being... But when she's sending emails on an unsecure cell phone really? over the air... And you want to know something else? In Nashua, she and, did it here in and Nashua. And you want... You know she did the here at Dash, but listen, and you want to hear something and, else? And somebody's going to pick it My up. My dear and, friend, and, filled with helium. <laughs> and by the way, uh, you're losing a lot. We, we will, you know, we no, can't I'm wear a wedding ring and losing so much weight. They got an indicter. Oh, pff, they're not going to indict her. How about the Benghazi thing? They, they should go. arrest her just oh, the for Benghazi that. Benghazi thing. Oh, the Benghazi thing. Yeah, four right. Four people are dead. Right, four people because are dead. Because of her. For, no, four people are dead. Yeah, uh, I think she said, yeah, I have 120 countries that have probably 300 embassies. And Benghazi, people get, guess what? Uh, excuse but me. But they begged e for excuse, help. Excuse me, excuse me. If they had 500 people there, they would have lost. How well, can still, you beat them? No, you could. Oh, you could? For one. And so these same people are the ones who crashed the into the... Jets into the jets were ready to fly, oh, and they were told yeah. to stand down. That's, this is news. You're wrong. It's all public You're wrong, news. and you don't know what you're talking no, about. I'm telling you, Ken. Yeah, it's don't, true. Don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a but but I do agree with your support on uh, Trump. No, and uh, and I do agree with what what the uh, you know I think he could bust the party. Yeah, and uh, but I still I'm still voted. I no. did vote for Cruz. Oh God! But I'll vote for he any. But I don't care he if will a rock never. if a rock yeah. wins the what? Republican primary. I'm voting for the Rock. Why don't you come to your senses? Stop eating peanut butter. <laughs> Start eating organic stuff, all right? Yeah. Understand, get it through your head, is because you think that your man is so constitutional, all That's right? right? Yes. The constitution is so it's important. But he's a nutcase. No. So you leave a guy with a nutcase who understands the constitution is gonna do what? You well, think he's gonna understand the constitution? Well, but then you're you're he's a freak. You're endorsing Trump that everybody says is kind of, you know, a no, little. No, I'm voting for. <laughs> well, she's more unbalanced. <laughs> I, well, okay. I'm voting for because I know the well, lights Well, how there. about your, um, your uh, opposition there, Bernie? Well, I, I, allegedly, he's, you know, he's being pushed to run on as a third party. And that will guarantee whoever runs on the Republican ticket a win. You know something? Which is already guaranteed. Should I get wins. serious for a moment? I don't get serious too much. The person who possesses wisdom will win. The wisdom is this. Bernie Sanders is the key to everything. Bernie Sanders so will... Socialism, communist. Let me finish. All right. Let all me right. finish. Bernie Sanders he will be 75. If he won and spent four years, he would be 79. That's a year older than Reagan. After two terms. He oh. can't do it. He's too old. In fact, he's looking tired now. All right. He's also a socialist. He's always been a socialist. He became a Democrat because there's no socialist party to run on. 
So now he's a Democrat, yep. but he's a socialist. You will not stop. I will not, a sentence will not come out of you. It does, <laughs> good night, dear. And by the way, ben, Bernie is a socialist. That's how your life will be. Yes. Correct. All yes. right. So the wisdom is that he's in from the 60s too, you know, you know, and so isn't she. That 60s, you missed a, one hell of a ride. Yeah, I, I was I, only a kid. I was there. <laughs> Boy, that was fun. All right, okay. Uh, if he possesses the wisdom and knows that he has all that particular type of energy of, of the young, which is really, really important, the same type of energy that Hillary Clinton had when she was young, if he has the ability to turn to her and say, look, I can't make it, but I really want the Democratic Party to win over Trump. Well, All right, we'll use over that. Trump. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to convince or convince all my young people to come to your side, but with a condition. The condition is that you use me and I go around the country for you and with you. Now, that's his wisdom. But will she make that deal? Let me tell you, that's his wisdom. Her wisdom is to say yes, yes. The wisdom between the two of them is, Bernie, you don't go too far. Hillary, you don't restrict him too much. He is the key for, to win the election for the Democrats. Absolutely. If he turns around or his people think that he is getting trashed and he doesn't clarify what's going on, they'll do one or two things. Most of them won't vote. Yeah, chances are. All right. Yep. Or they might even think about Trump. Well, they're saying a lot of Democrats are looking at Trump. I saw a number of about 15%. You know, I don't know how accurate that number is, but that's what they're saying, and that's why he's doing so well in the uh, polls. Trump, and, you know, Trump polls. is doing so well because he's not a politician, and it's true. Well, and he's speaking a lot what people want to hear. And when he says that the he will the Mexican Wall will be built and and Mexico will pay for it, he's absolutely correct. Well, why can't we build that? railroad that you want and make Massachusetts pay for it then. Why don't you sit on a <laughs> Well, I think stop that's a letting, good idea. No, stop. <laughs> so we should bring Trump into it. Yes, <laughs> well, yes. He'll make the deal on he'll it. He'll make okay, the deal right. and make Massachusetts pay for it, and then I would vote for that. Then you would <laughs> Maybe. No, but... He, <laughs> I don't want to be... The, si the simple that. fact is, it's true. If a president really wanted them to build a wall, they would, all right? simply because they owe us a lot of money. Really. Oh, yeah. So if you want to kind of deduct that money and have them build a wall, Trump wouldn't tell you that part where you don't get the money, but they build a wall with our money, okay. But they owe it to us anyway, which we might not get it. Yes. He also did something as a politician. I want, you, you, I want your opinion on this. Courier, air conditioning company. Yeah, it used stood, to be huge in northern New York. Yeah, 1,400 people. And the president went out, and there were a lot of people there with cell phones, took a picture of, on the cell phones, a video, saying that they're going to move to Mexico. Yep. Trump stood up and said, I will never buy another courier air conditioner. And he said, and they won't go, or they will come back if I'm president. They'll go, how are you going to do that? He said, well, I'm going to call the president of Curry, and I'm going to say, listen, if you build them there, we're going to charge you 35% to get back into this country. Uh, because, all right? Yep. All right. Now, he can't do that. But as a president of the United States standing up and saying, don't buy the air conditioners, or Ford going over there and building a big thing and leaving, don't buy a Ford or any other com com country, yes. a, a company, all right? Don't buy... All right, a Ford or whatever. One other thing, and then I'm going to let you speak because I'm talking too much. Nike has big companies in China. Yes, huge. And 
they said, well, we want to come back to the United States. We'd rather build them in the United States. That's not, not a big deal because mo most of them is automated. And, but there are yeah. a lot of people that they hire. He said, but you see, if we build it there and send them here, there's no tariff. If we build it in the United States and send it to China, it's 30 plus or 28% tariff. I was tariff. going to say that, yep. So that's not fair. Is Trump right? He's absolutely right. And how do you, how do you, so, okay, you're right. So what is he going to do to China? Charge them 35% what comes in here of the same and product. Gonna, and everybody's going to yell, that's not free trade. But that is free trade. That is in my really eyes. free trade. That is. All right, I've been speaking too much. No, but I, I totally, uh, New Balance uh, makes some of their shoes here. I buy 100% New Balance American made shoes. Now I flip the tab up or the tongue and I look and ah, China, no. And, you know, sadly, you know, there's a huge price difference, but the price difference there is because of the tariffs. That's correct. And if we. You know, can we sell a car in, in Japan? I don't think we can. Yes, we can, but again, it's it, cost it's a lot of money. It's the huge tariffs. Well, they, they like American cars. Well, so whatever yeah, Japan like makes and send here, is, if it's a, close to the same product, a, a, a T-shirt to a T-shirt, well, it should be the same you see, tariffs. The, 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 the Japan is smart. I own a Honda, I guess, where it was built, here in the United States. The Mercedes built in the United States. So there's a lot of car companies from other countries coming here and building their cars. Toyota yes. has a big plant, yeah. Prius, et cetera. All in a, uh, uh, right to work states, too. All the new plants. No, not necessarily. Yes, no, Bowen just built that, in a right to work North Carolina. Uh, stick it. Billion dollars. Stick it. You want to know something? You, it's you, true. I'm you telling guys you. Would, you know, right to work works. You know, every once in a while, I think you're on level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. Hillary. Yeah, yeah. It, it, God, it, shut up. Hil we don't need facts. Hil <laughs> Hillary don't like facts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stick it. I gotta <laughs> see. I gotta. I feel like Trump. You know, Trump is Rubio on one side, right? Yeah. And, and, and you know, and and Cruz on the other. I got Cruz, and then I got God. Who, yeah. You know. Now I do love uh, when when Trump said to Rubio. All right, little man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 you know, you aren't supposed to pick on people, but, you, you know, that really, you know, I almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. <laughs> and Rubio says, and Trump has small hands. And you know what they say about men with small hands? Yeah. <laughs> and everybody goes, ah, you can't trust them. Yeah. So Trump goes last night, you know what? See my hands, are they small? And he says, the other parts of my body, there's no problem there either. <laughs> and I went, whoa, are you kidding me? Can you imagine? Yeah. No, that, that debate last night, uh, the other, a couple nights, you know, last week uh, as this airs, uh, on Fox News was disgusting. You know, and I, I like Fox News. You know, I watch it occasionally. But it was disgusting. All it was was gotcha moments. When Megyn Kelly showed those videos of Trump and then kept trying to nail him down. And, 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 you know, again, I voted for Cruz, but Trump came back very well. I think Trump really won it last night. Trump came back and he says, don't you want somebody that's flexible? When I learned of this, per, you know, item that they brought up, I'm going, yeah, that sounds legit. Okay, I would probably support that. But then he goes home and looks and goes, oh, uh, no, I'm not going to support that. And then in a couple days he says, no, I'm not supporting that. And then they use the two videos to beat the guy up. Well, he's right. I want a president that could be flexible. Because well, you uh, always learn something new tomorrow. I've done that. I'm sure you have done that at the State House. I've seen me. Bill, well, I'm always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. You thought I was going to say right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I've I've seen bills in committee where at the face, you know, I'm looking at them at home because I study everything for the committee before I go in. And I write little notes. Yeah, I, I, wish, I wish you would come over to Commerce and show you what we did last week. I, and for, for just quickly, and I'll explain it. I'm in Commerce. I've been there for four terms. I That's may, next door, isn't it? Yes. I Behind may, us? Uh, it's on 302. On, oh, okay. I'm 204. Okay. So uh, it's so com complicated. 
it's so it, it's all the banking, all the insurance, and consumer yeah. affairs. This yeah. year we wrote laws for Uber, yeah. and every other company that comes in. We did four liquor laws, which changes, you know, it making it easier and to sell more. And about five or six bills. So historically, this week we did more to change the face of New Hampshire in many, many ways, economically too. Hopefully positive. I'll tell you, I have never in my four terms have ever had to study and study and study. And then you got to find people who are smarter than you, which for me is not hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, you know so, I, I, uh, I look at, you know, yes, I look at, uh, uh, you know, I probably lean more away from the establishment people that come. You know, I want to hear what they say. But usually when the Department of Safety or the chiefs of police are there or some figurehead, you know, from the government, as I call them, they're usually looking out for their own interest. Oh, don't repeal this. Uh, we need the revenue. Do you know that, that this is what a lot of people don't understand is uh, a bill can be 50 pages. Oh, yeah. Which you huge. can't. We got a bill. This, I'm, I swear it was one sentence with well, LSRs in it. So you, it, uh, statues in it. So, you so go then you had look, to go yeah. and look, and there was another one. So you had to go and look, and there was another one. You had to go and look, and there was another one. You had to go and look. Now, the bill was not 10 words. Oh. Okay? So the banker came in and said, well, I'm gonna have, I, I can't explain this to you. I, can't, I cannot explain this to you. Well, then who do you look to? He says, well, the only, what this really does is this saves money and it makes it easy to do this and that. And What are you going to do? you got to believe them because i, I got to believe that there are people in there, especially Hunt, who's been there for 25 years and, and Butler. And, and by the way, you really got to be there for a period of time. I'm the only one from Nashville who's in commerce, which is banking, insurance, and consumer affairs. The only one. Uh, there should be somebody else from Nashville up there, and I'm the only one who has the experience. Well, it's the same way with uh, finance. I mean, you've oh. you got to be a long-term. I don't know how they do it. No. Well, you know the one I don't know how they do it, well, how he does it, is um, Norm Major, you know, Representative Major. Uh, you know, he'll give predictions. He's, I think, ways and means. That's where the money comes Ways in. and means, yep. He gives predictions of what people are going to spend in New Hampshire. And he is almost spot well, on every got all, but, but he knows. You see, yeah. how, how it really works in the state of New Hampshire. And by the way, when I say there's only about 125 to 150 people who do work, in the state of New Hampshire as representatives in the 400. I agree with that. I'm not kidding. I agree with that. You do it, yeah. I do it, yeah. and of course there are many people who do it far more than me and far more than you. Yes. I mean, but we yes. do work, Yeah. okay? We, we really work at it. And by the way, a lot of people know this, but my wife, Lee Garrett, who kept her maiden name, is also a state representative. Yes. Yeah. So what a happy household that is. <laughs> Well, so now you're getting four hundred dollars from the taxpayers every two years. You get two hundred dollars. Oh, we're loaded. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're loaded. We we still can't buy. I mean, can you imagine uh, somebody leaving the house at eight o'clock in the morning to be there for nine, and somebody leaving there at ten o'clock in the morning to be there for eleven? Because. She, my wife, has to get out and go so, do something early, and I'm going to be there late. Same house. Yes. Two cars yep. going to Concord. Well, but with your wife on Fish and Game, which almost doesn't meet very often. Uh, I mean, you know, but they had a lot of bills this year. Yes, they did. Yeah. Yes, which they was did. A, a very un, you know, not unusual. And by the way, I think they knocked you out to put her in. Uh, they did. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. No. Well, because I did. I picked, uh, well, you Well, you know, picked it, fights. Well, you... You, were, you really pissed a lot of people off. Wow, well, no. How can you in fish and game? I mean, I, what, I mean, give me a break. Yeah, I got my bill passed. I know, and you weren't in <laughs> fish and game. It was yes. a suppressor bill. Yes, a suppressor bill. But, uh, you know, you get three choices when you first become a state rep. So I put down, 
and they try to give you your choices. So I put chair, fishing game, chair, fishing game, or just fishing game. And you know, I knew I wasn't going to get it under the speaker uh, because I didn't vote for the guy. Oh. And uh, so then all of a sudden I get this email or letter or whatever it was, uh, congratulations, you're on criminal justice. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, what I a, never saw that one coming. What, what a poor place to put you. <laughs> well, well, but to be honest, it's I, good. I, I love criminal justice. The change justice. is good. Yeah, oh, it is. I, I'm so glad I'm on criminal justice because I think I did a lot of good in there this year. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, if I continue, I wouldn't be any place else other than commerce. And Commerce I, is a hard committee. And the, and the reason simply is it, it takes you two, three terms just to... To understand, yeah. Understand it. Yeah. I mean, and then I was talking to the speaker, Sean uh, Jasper, uh, Speaker of the House, and I said, you know, Sean, I said, I am... The good thing that you're doing by putting me there is I'm not in banking or have been in banking. I'm not in insurance, and I haven't been in insurance, although I've done a lot of banking, done a lot of insurance, and I've had businesses. I said, but the people you put in there who are on banking or on insurance, how do you think they vote? Yeah. They yeah. vote for banking and insurance. Same way with our committee, criminal justice. The chair is a uh, current policeman. Ah, that so, shouldn't be. No. That shouldn't be. And then, you know, we got a uh, uh, nice guy. You know, John Thal's a great guy, but, you know, then, you know, retired um, Dover policeman, uh, Len DeSessa, 100%. Not a nice guy. We, we get along very good. Uh, matter of fact, he, you know, we both helped each other. So that's what I like about Len. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, because we will work on bills when, when needed. You know, when we need something passed, and it's right, and we both agree that it's right, you know, we can join and we forget about, you know, and that's really the way it should be. You know, a representative of uh, Valancourt, which is no longer at the House. Thank God. Yeah, he's up in Montreal, I heard, writing his own book about himself. That's what I heard. I don't know how true it is. Uh, but he told me the first day, I, well, you know, it's like orientation, whenever that is. Yeah. He says, I'm telling you right now, but he never listened to this rule. And the rule was, be nice. Don't make it personal because bottom line, who you are fighting today is going to be your best friend tomorrow on a different bill. And he is right. And Len DeSessa and I have that relationship. And, and most everybody in my committee does. And the person but do you agree with, who gave you that advice <laughs> exactly. not only never took it, he got bounced out of three committees. I mean, he, he did. just that, oh, three. I only three, heard of one. Oh no, three committees he got bounced out of. You know, the sad thing about Representative Valancourt, and he says I was one of his favorite reps, and and he even pointed out that we were born in the same hospital, and I'm like, Steve, don't tell yeah, anybody don't that. Yeah, don't tell anybody yeah. that. Yeah. But somebody came up to him after he did give a great speech. He, he's intelligent. He did give a few. And somebody said, Steve, I just want to say that was a great speech. I don't need your approval. Yeah, he's an idiot. He's an <laughs> and idiot. I'm like, you can't you just get along and say thank no. you? He, well, what what this we're, we're talking about a highly intelligent individual yeah. whose life is purely politics. Yeah. But he kept winning because nobody <clears throat> challenged him. Yes. When they started challenging him, he won once by what? Six votes or sixteen votes. It wasn't very many. The second time they challenged him, he was gone. Yep. I doubt if he'll come, be coming back. No. Well, he told me personally the last time he ran, which would have been this session, Yeah. Uh, and he didn't win, um, he said, I'm going to do the least amount and see if I win. So he never put a sign or anything out, and he didn't win. I mean, you got a campaign. No, he, uh, no, no. You know, the interesting thing is uh, I'm always get good votes, etc. But I knock on the doors and I talk to people and I get oh, yeah. some people, boy, really tear me up. And occasionally someone that scares me will say, thank you very much. Yeah. We really appreciate. Thank you for what? I'm going, for I'm waiting to get hit. Yes. No, for, for, for doing what you're doing. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and they understand it, and that's it. That's all we get. Yeah. It's just a thank you. No, I try to go to a thousand doors campaigning, 
and then I have a group of friends that help me. Yeah. Um, and then we go to another 25 to 3,500 doors. Okay. Uh, so I try to cover about 4,000 doors if I can. Yeah. It's hard. Oh, you can't do it. Yeah. It, you know, so I go to almost 1,000 if I can do it myself. Um, and I only see about 160 right. to exactly. 180 exactly. people. Correct. And then I leave a paper that, hi, I'm Correct. John Burt, and I was here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but about usually one or two, I'll get the door slammed in my face uh, because I think it's, the dual, the the wife is the Democrat or the wife's the Republican and the other guy is, you know, the you know the opposite. So I'll open up the door and I'll say, hi, I'm John Burt. Well, they don't like you anyway. I mean, you <laughs> well, know. Well, this they, is in God's no, no, town. No, I know, likes me. but they, look, you're either loved or you're disliked. There's no in-between for you. I would agree with that. Okay? There is an in-between for me. And the in-between is get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm either liked or... No in between. Now, now I do play dirty politics. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes. John <laughs> Burt, <laughs> representative from Golf Stars, is going to tell you about dirty politics. Well, you know how I win is I go to doors, and if the house is not vinyl side sided, it's paint. I say, "Hi, I'm John Burt." Can I paint your house? And I see, <laughs> yeah. And I see you have paint on your house. Do you know the Democrats in the House passed a paint tax of seventy-five cents? They did. Oh, you lying! You Awful guys, you guys did person. pass it. You lie. Then I tell them the Senate, you the lie. Senate Republicans killed you that bill. Lie. Last term, you did pass yeah, the paint and tax. And I go to the did doors, and it? if they got dogs, you know. Yeah, I said, do you know they want to get rid of your dogs? No, Republicans so, yeah, love I dogs. Yeah, I tell, that's what I tell them. The Republicans are awful. <laughs> no no we, dogs we, allowed. We love dogs. Or you can only have the dogs this big. Small ones, gone. Republicans want that. No, no small dogs. Hey, I have hot dog day. Uh, so it, you, you I'm know, a Republican, loves dogs. Well... It, and, you know, you've got to be commended for that. You really oh. have to. <laughs> occasionally, somebody comes up with an idea in a hot dog day. Explain it. It's, Explain it. It surprised me how successful this has turned out. Successful? Huge. Over Until seven. you tried to give hot dogs away and start <laughs> getting votes. That's yeah. when we got to well, in trouble. Yeah. Yes, I bribed all the reps, and I said, if you vote with this, is my first term, so I, I, would, I didn't know. Yeah. And I said, if you if, vote, we'll give you hot dogs. Yeah, if you vote with me, it was over a campfire bill. I said, I will um, have a campfire without a permit. And that's what this was, my bill was going to do. Or not my bill, but somebody's. And bill. we'll give you hot dogs. And I'll give you a hot dog. And they said. That I could have gone to jail you yeah. know, for bribing 400 <laughs> reps. And the, but I was all happy. I was like, oh my God, I'll be on Fox News over this. I'll make yeah. world news. Yeah, over and, hot dogs. Yeah. The, you know, nobody. You didn't any know charges. what you're going to make Fox <laughs> News for. So I went back up a couple weeks later, and, and I said, "You know what? I'll invite everybody." And you know, and you know, the first year we had over 500 people um, gave you know almost 800 hot dogs away. Last year we had over 700, well over 700. Oh, people. this year you'll have thousands. And we gave 1,200 hot dogs away, and we're scared to death of this year. We don't know what to do. Well, whatever I can do to help. Yeah, seriously. But yeah, you know, we just don't know how much to get. Well, yeah, it, I, I think, how many, did you say 1,200? We gave almost 1,200. We're just shy of a couple of 12. I'd get, thir I'd get 13 and 1,400. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'd do. But I mean, you've you got to have the rolls. You lost the rolls last year. Yes, yes. God's sake, Sarah, I'm getting a hot dog with no rolls. I well, mean, you know what's funny is, uh, you know. I, what happened to the hamburgers? Oh, no, it's a hot dog day. We can't have hamburgers. Oh, okay. Well, people had hamburgers. I know but, that. You know, I'm throwing rolls into the shopping basket, buying up all these rolls, and my wife's like, John, we have enough. We always No. Repeat. And I, so this year, she no. runs up to me. We're out of everything. Oh, my God, what do we do? I said, I don't know. Don't look at me. And, and you know, she didn't know. Well, I mean, don't you, don't you go, don't you uh, remember these big box stores? Yes, but I mean, it's only an hour and a half. Hot dog days is. is, is no, just, I don't mean that. You got to buy the hot dog rolls before. Oh yes. So you go to the big yeah. box stores. Yes. Yeah. Well. Well, well, you know, Walmart has always supported us. No, 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 no. What, Sam's Club. You go to. Well, Sam's that's Club? where I go. But you know, okay. Walmart always donates to Hot Dog Day because that's how this happens. It only happens because of of, of 
donations. I couldn't do this on my yeah, own. No, right. And they donate to a a nonprofit dog group, and the dog group gets to keep a hundred percent of the money. What dog group? Uh, this year it's Laconia. Dog Humane Society. Humane Society. Last year it was Kachiko Valley. Do you Humane ever get Society. an award for this? What happened? Wait, excuse me, going that way. How about Nashua? We got a lot of dogs oh, and cats in Nashua. Well, see, I want to circle around the state because... Well, excuse me. Excuse me. So <laughs> the circle doesn't come down in Nashua? I promise if I rerun next year, I'll do Nashua. Is, but is there a humane... What do you mean? We've got a big humane society. Well, but do they need the money? I don't know a humane society that doesn't well, need the money. I had the SPCA which, uh, of Concord. In, in, I mean, good oh, group. Oh, I'm, yeah, right. Let's but, just... But excuse me, excuse me, Conkid? Somebody told me they had a ton of money. Giving you, yes. Yeah, well, that's Another what I don't want to pick. I want to pick the small, you know, humane societies that are struggling and say, look, here's, Every you know, humane society struggles with your problem is you're thinking of, here's a small humane society. Come down to Nashua and see all the dogs and cats that are going to be, going to be offed. And really, I, they agree, need it. I yeah. mean, come on. I mean, yeah. I understand the small ones struggling. Guess what? They end up in Nashua many a times, so, yeah. you know, because they can gas them easier. I mean, that's awful. It is. Yeah. That's awful. Yeah. But, you know, hopefully Hot Dog Day is going to be a success this oh, year. I do be. have a surprise that I can't tell. but um, You can't tell me? Well, I because I, I I promise y'all, <laughs> I promise y'all keep it a secret. All right. You, 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 the viewers won't tell? That's right. Go ahead. I'm trying with no tax dollars being used. Okay. I'm trying to get a flyover. A flyover? Because Don Gorman, Excuse our me, chef. Flyover what? Over the Capitol. Excuse me, with what? Uh, well, if I can, I, I, I don't think I can do it. But if the, you know, whatever airplanes are sitting over in peas, if they're going oh. out. Give me a break. It, Give me a peas. There's a possibility this may work. There's a possibility. Drones. It, and if I can't get 25 it, twenty-five drones going around. Well, well, that'd be cool. But if I can't get it, I, I possibly have an airplane uh, or two private airplanes that said they would do it uh, for no charge. Uh, but then there's an airplane that I'm talking to right now. We're just starting the first talks uh, that will fly over with a. What are those airplanes with the banners behind them? Airplanes with banners behind yes, them. Yeah, I okay, think probably right, you okay. see it. Yeah, that's going to say hot dog day. And, yeah, you know, so that way I get my flyover, even though it's a small airplane. Hey, a flyover is know, a flyover. It, it, it would really be nice is if you get a helicopter and go over to the state house and throw out confetti. Oh, all, that's all little true. things of ketchup. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I'll tell you a quick story. I'm not going to tell you the name of the, uh, the club, but it was an organization. I used to own a bar here in the city of Nashville. It was a larger bar. And what they, we're always competing. Well, they had so much money. So what they did one day is they had like 1,500 flyers. Okay, I mean, it's like a whole thing of flyers. Wow. And on the 4th of July, so they send a guy up in a plane and they tell him to throw them out. Really? Right? Did they get him for littering? No, he didn't unwrap them. He just threw them out. <laughs> <laughs> so there were bricks coming out. Well, no, brick. They ended up about two feet in someone's lawn in, uh, in Sargent Avenue, right next to where, where the, I mean, <sighs> how smart can you be? Or if that, I mean, that would have killed somebody, but that would have gone. Killed right, somebody? That would have gone right through a car. Oh, are you kidding me? I mean, my God, I mean, the plane's going probably 60, and you throw it out, so it's going like this. Now, where was the brain thought? The brain, forget, forget, the, look, when things like this happen, forget the brains. You mean brains, like someone should have thought about it? Or? Yeah, there should have been some common sense. The guy must have been a Democrat voting for Hillary. Is that true? <laughs> no, Trump. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> See this? Yes. This God. <laughs> there you are. Shut up, God. <laughs> Shut up. <It's>, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, I really honestly believe now that, uh, A, Bernie Sanders with wisdom, Trump should get it for the Republicans, and this is what I'm voting for. <laughs> and you're voting for Cruz. Well, I'm voting for Cruz if he wins the primary, because I voted for him in the primary. Uh, in the primary. Uh, I'll vote for him as the president oh. elect. It's awful. But if Trump wins, I'm voting for Trump. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 
You know, I'm not a big Rubio fan, but if Rubio, I mean, oh, you know who I really I like now. The more I hear from him, who is don't Kasich. say Mitt. No, Kasich. no, I'm not. A, I, I liked Mitt a while ago. Yeah, he, what he just pulled, I'm not happy with him. What I, uh, but Kasich. Well, Last course, night, everybody likes Kasich. They set him up. You know, will you go ahead and beat up these other guys? Here's a knife and go over and stab Trump. You know, and he goes, look, I'm not falling for this. Let's talk about the real issues. Hillary Clinton. And he started in on, you know, the things about her that she should be arrested and blah, blah. And I'm like, she should be arrested. I like this guy. He should be arrested. <laughs> oh, God. I think no. She's not going to be arrested. And, and that's it. I heard that. Haven't you have guys ever that, figured out that all the Secret Service people wouldn't let anything like this happen? We're not that stupid. I heard that. But Democrats, you, you're saying, oh, she went to Walmart and bought a throwaway phone. Oh, yeah. She well, could I can't, sneak right into Walmart with 35. I can't remember uh, which governor hasn't endorsed her. But there's one Democrat governor that has not endorsed Hillary, and this is what. Fox News I said, and you know yeah, they can't ahead, say it if it's ahead. not true. What? It's on Fox. It's yeah, got to be true. <laughs> <laughs> and they said that if she's indicted, this one governor will step in at the Democrat convention, and I'll run. No. Uh, what will happen if she's indicted? The president immediately will pardon her, even before the the. The print is, is dry on the indictment. So she's above the law, then? Absolutely. So wasn't Nixon. When, when Ford, which is a Republican Republic, and well, we repaid Ford for what he did, didn't we? Yes. Yes, he was never <laughs> voted in as a president, but became president. Oh, okay. So I can live with that. All right. How can everybody get in touch with you? John... Uh, John at Bert, <laughs> I'm trying to think, BertNH.com. Bert. <laughs> and my home phone number is, because I like giving my home number out, and I do answer the phone if I'm there. 624-5084 six, 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 in Facebook is John Burt in New Hampshire. And, and, and what's the other thing I'm supposed to sign up? And you keep, I keep asking oh, you, uh, you, won't, you won't help me. Uh, what do you mean? I don't help you. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I'm not helping you. You must be a Democrat. It. Al told me about you. That yeah, you, you, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Al. He, Al warned me yeah, about you. Yeah, say hi to Al. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, hi, Al. Uh, yeah <laughs> hi, Al. All right. Uh, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. I got to do that. But I have something to show you. And I think it's very important. And, I, and note, I'm trying to get it up here. No, I don't want it. How did Kasich get up there? I don't want Kasich. Kasich? You're voting for him? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm just curious. There we go. All right. Okay. No, I'm trying to find something because I want to read something to you. I think it's very, very important. It is something that nobody would ever believe that happened. But here it is. Minnesota governor raises taxes on the rich to boost education funding. Raises the minimum wage and signs an equal pay law. State economics, the fifth fastest growing economy in the U.S. Unemployment drops to 3.2%. Its $2.6 billion deficit becomes a $1 billion surplus, and it's an economic conference to the, I don't know, the highest anyway. It's right there, and I've got to say goodbye. My name is Ken Gidge. This is the Art of Politics. You can go to Gidge World, which is an art site, or you can go to Instagram, or you can go anywhere you want to go as long as you have a good time. And look, yes. John, I want <laughs> to thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. You'll be here next week with, yes. with, our, with our good buddy. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, have remember... Public access TV is the most important type of... It is. Okay. Thank you.
the preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.